Hey everyone, Natalie Ozzy here with another photo mode tutorial, this time with The Division 2. Um, I am a massive fan of this photo mode, they've got wonderful things in it, um, filters, everything. So let's get straight in it. So to access photo mode you want to go quickly get out of it. Um, press escape, this is for PC only, and hold F for photo mode, and voila. So just by um, using your WASD keys and your mouse, you can zoom around a fair bit. Um, you can go a little bit out, zoom out by using the scroll mouse. Yeah, um, if you want to go higher up, um, by holding shift and your WASD keys, you can go up and down. So make sure you just hold shift and it will take it up and down. Which is pretty good. Alright. So now the fun part filters and lots of other things. But by pressing tab, a little menu will come up. Uh, it has loads of different features. Exposure, which I'm going to actually do a bit for this photo. I don't know what type we're going for yet, but I'm sure we'll work it out along the way. Um, your contrast, play around. Usually I go back and forth from the filters to uh, the adjust menu just to play around to see what best suits my photo at the time. We could do a little silhouette type of one. What do you reckon? All right, so then we have focus. The good thing about this is you can pick anywhere where you want to focus. Uh, on your map, just make sure you go to the four little arrow one. Uh, yeah, and you can just click your character or if there's something nice in the background where you want fo focus, just click on that, which is really good. Um, there's a few different filters. Black and white. Little red red one. Oh, I don't mind. You can also adjust the strength of it to where you just want a little bit or a lot. Uh, so there's quite a few different ones there. I often use the red or purple. Alright, pose. Now this is really good. Um, whatever emotes you have in your apparel thing equipped will show up here. Um, the thing with this is you, while in photo mode, if your character's not straight or that, by pressing one of these, uh, rotate, and by pressing V on your keyboard, will rotate your character. So let's just bring her back, or if you want her to face straight on, just press the head and she'll face you, which is really good. Um, pick your remote, and then when we get out of this, yeah. And um, we'll be able to use that. So vignette um, will add a dark area around your photo. I'm not going to use that today, but that's really good with some photos. Um, we also can add a border and Division 2 logo. You can adjust how thick you want the border. And um, won't use any today. And noise, of course. <coughs> and we'll just keep that off. <laughs> Alright, so now what you want to do now get ready to take your photo. By pressing tab you'll have access to your photo mode again. Just make sure you do because if you want to take a few photos of the one thing, if you have that up on your screen, you, yeah, you just won't be able to. You can still take a photo but you just don't have access to move your camera and everything. Alright, by pressing G on your keyboard we'll, we'll remove the HUD which is really good. Now we had selected a moat so by pressing V, she will play that emote uh, while we're in the photo. So we're just going to, and by pressing spacebar, you can take some photos. So I usually, you know, do it a few times and see if I can get the right photo and hope for the best. So it is very, very simple to use. There we go. How awesome is that? Love the colours. This game has so much to offer with the photo mode. It's really, really good to see. 
um, if you have any other questions about photo mode hopefully I got it all um, it is only a short video and I'm still very new to this video so I hope you all liked it just remember it is the PC division to photo mode um, and have a wonderful night thank you very much